Hi everyone, uh, Robert here for some Linux and a coffee. And um, since I've got all my network projects in the closet, they're finished for now anyway. Uh, it's never finished, but uh, it's to a good point where I can let it rest and see how things work out. But anyway, I thought we'd get back to uh, some Linux. Um, today I just wanted to do a a short video on how to update your kernel or actually install a new kernel um, I believe uh, the latest kernel uh, for Ubuntu 14.04 is 3.13.0 dash 66 right now is the current kernel um, and you can't just uh, I mean, you can you can issue commands to update your kernel to a new version, uh, but as long as you're running that same version, you'll get updates for that. But uh, I believe right now they have uh, all the way up to 4.2 or something like that. There's a whole ton that that are available after uh, what initially is installed with Ubuntu when you uh, install your server. So uh, I've got the terminal up here and. And uh, I thought I'd show you just a quick video on on how to do this. So, uh, taking a look at the terminal here, uh, let's see which kernel we actually have on this one. Uh, we'll do a uname dash a. Okay, so on our YouTube test server, uh, it currently has 3.19.8-991 uh, generic. That's the uh, kernel that's on it. Uh, this one I have upgraded in the past but we're gonna so it originally had 3 3.13 on it <clears throat> but we're gonna put the newest kernel available on there so uh, I'll show you here real quick if we go to the website here uh, and the website is uh, let me bring the terminal back up and I'll type it in there so you can see sorry about that um, okay the, the website is uh, kernel.ubuntu.com forward slash uh, tilde kernel dash ppa forward slash mainline okay so that's the website you want to go to uh, to locate all the available kernels uh, that are out there um, so we'll go to that site I have it up here already in the web browser <clears throat> and uh, you can see here there uh, some of these they were doing work on uh, reviews and what's in queue that's uh, stuff they're working on currently but if we scroll all the way down to the bottom we'll see here there's some uh, 4.3 uh, different uh, releases of unstable version and we want to look for the 14.3 dash Wiley uh, now that's the the newest uh, stable version um, of that kernel that's out so if we go into that folder we'll see here there's a bunch of uh, build files and and change logs and all that stuff but these files down here are what we want to look at <clears throat> so there's three main files that we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need this one here in the middle that is the uh, Linux headers and it's gonna end with all.deb that's gonna be one file that we're gonna need to install and we're gonna install that one first um, and then we want just the uh, Linux headers generic file and we want to find the one with the right ex extension here because there's a 32-bit version the i386 and there's a 64-bit uh, the AMD 64 and then there's one for uh, ARM installations and PPC and all that we don't want to worry about those uh, since we're using uh, Ubuntu server uh, so we just want to get uh, the all.deb and we want to be sure we get the AMD 64.deb and then we're also going to need the kernel itself which is down here you'll see these are labeled Linux headers uh, we want the Linux image 
So we'll locate the 64 bit on that as well, the AMD 64. So those are the three files that we need. So first, uh, let's go ahead and go to the all.deb package and let's right click and copy that link location. Okay, and then we'll go back to our terminal and let me take this out here and let's just uh, change directory into our temp directory and let's see what we got in there okay so that's good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a uh, wget and we're gonna paste that link location in and we'll just hit enter and that's gonna download that file from that website take it a second here it's going pretty slow from their site and while that's downloading we'll come back and we'll get our Linux headers package uh, so we'll go to the AMD 64 we'll right click and copy that link location and we'll go back and we'll do a wget and we'll just right click to paste that link and we'll go ahead and download that package and then we'll get the kernel so we'll come down to the Linux image uh, generic AMD 64 and we'll right click on it and copy that link location and then we will wget that file as well okay so um, this one may take a little bit longer to to download it's uh, Okay, so all of uh, the files are downloaded, so let's, let's do a list uh, and take a look at uh, the files that we have in here. Okay, so we have the generic headers, we have the all.deb headers, and we have the kernel itself, the amd64.deb. So now we can uh, do these all in one line or, or whatever, but let's go ahead and do them. Uh, individually here we'll do a uh, we'll do a sudo uh, dpkg dash i and then we're gonna do our Linux headers first we'll just do the 4.3.0 dash and we'll just put an asterisk dot deb and we'll hit enter ask for our password so this is going to uh, install both of the headers packages for us so as you can see uh, up here uh, did the uh, the generic AMD 64 it did the all.deb so it got both of the headers packages now let's do the uh, Linux image which is our kernel and you want to be sure that you don't have any other kernel packages in there if you're using uh, wildcards like the asterisks like this so and we'll just do the Linux image uh, dot deb we'll let this install Okay, now that's installed. So um, I, I believe we could do a sudo update grub, and that will go ahead and update our our grub bootloader. And then uh, we can just do a sudo reboot to reboot the machine. Sorry about the uh, the loud sounds there. Let me see if I can turn that off. Okay, so the server is back up. Uh, so now let's do a uname a, and as you can see, now we have the new uh, 
4.3.0 Wiley kernel uh, installed on our server. Everything seems to be running fine so far. It rebooted successfully, so we'll just have to play around with it for a while and and leave it up and make sure uh, everything is running good. We could do a uh, sudo nano ver log syslog and take a look at our uh, our log file here and see if everything looks good. Uh, we could also take a look here at our uh, at our release version. So we've uh, we're still on the 14.04.3, uh, but we have the new 4.3.0 kernel installed. So that's all. Uh, all you have to do to update your kernel and uh, to the latest version that's available out there and and from time to time you can keep an eye on that uh, mainline page uh, and see what the newest kernel is and uh, update uh, whenever you feel like you want to so anyway I hope this was helpful to you I just thought it would be a, a nice quick little video on on how to do this in case uh, any of you were wanting to know how to update your kernel so give me a thumbs up if this helped you out, and uh, I really appreciate it, and I, th I appreciate you watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and until the next video, I'll see you later. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.